Good morning, and welcome to Morning Coffee in Japan. Today, hosted by my fancy wild cat mug. Um, today I thought I would talk about jet salary, um, which is a really straightforward question. But I was talking with um a friend's niece who is interested in coming here for um to teach as an ALT and they had been comparing different programs I think Interact and Jet and some other program I don't remember the name she said but then she was asking about salary the Jet program salary is pretty straightforward um, it's written on the websites and it hasn't changed for the past couple of years um, when you get paid, though, I feel like I I only brought back maybe 22 mon a month, 23. It really depended on the deductions that month. So you're, you get your base salary. Um, I'll try and post the salary schedules. It's like 3.36 million and then 3.6 million and then 3.9 million and then 3.96 I think when you're fourth and fifth year jets something like that right now but I'll put the link in the description to this video and then in the future you can see the actual values that year um but you have to remember health insurance so your health insurance is going to get deducted that's like uh a mon and a half. So I'm speaking in mons. A mon is 10,000 yen. Um, but once you get here, you'll find that it's easy to speak in mons when you're talking about large amounts of money. But it sounds like when I write it down, I'm speaking in mans, but it's mon. Um, but so, for example, if you bring home around 22 mon every month that's about two thousand dollars us give or take some money depending on the exchange rate um but as i was saying you have to think about health insurance so your health insurance about a mon and a half every month and you've got to pay for your um if you're not exempt from tax you have to pay your residence tax um, this includes tax in your prefecture, but also your city. You have got your um, pension. The pension is a big chunk, but if you stay um, three years only, you'll get all of your pension money back. If you stay more than three years, you'll get the last three years of your pension money back if you apply for it when you leave. Um if you stay in Japan, though, however, this is a big beginning boost to you having pension in the future. Mm, comments as to whether or not pension will be worth anything in the future withheld. <laughs> um, but then you have to think about all of your rent and your... Um, Travel expenses. Some places now are reimbursing jets for travel expenses. It really depends on what prefecture and contracting organization you work for. Um, I used to not hear about any people getting travel money. Now more and more people are getting travel money. Um, the jets in my school are now getting travel money. Rent, water, gas, your electric bill. All of these things you have to remember. Um, they will come up and eat away at that chunk of money um you can save while you're on the jet program but you have to balance yourself um you have to really decide on what's your big spending going to be make yourself a budget um it's not an unlimited salary that you can just blow away i learned that very early when i was living in nara um when we first got here, it seemed like everyone was going to Nara City every weekend. And so um, my husband and I would just go too. And it was only like 600 yen one way to get to Nara City. 
So we would go up Saturday and Sunday. Well, 600 yen one way, so that's 1,200 yen a person. So two people, so that's 2,200 yen a day just for the travel. So we were spending around $40 every weekend just to travel. And then we did that every weekend. And that's just the travel. And we were eating out with everyone and doing all this other stuff. And we realized we didn't have any money. <laughs> and we were like, oh, huh, maybe we shouldn't go all the way up to the city every weekend. Maybe we should do some other things. And then we started um, staying local and learning about the local stuff. And then probably once a month we'd go up to the city and do some big fun thing with everybody. But started to really budget because we had wanted to save money while we were there and help it to pay off some of our student loans. So then we really started to sit and figure out well, how much can we spend. And that was really what led to our decision. Okay, once a month we can go out to the city and we could do all this fun stuff and not worry about spending money. So you really have to decide what you're going to do. If you're here because you want to travel and you don't have to save any money, then just figure out which trips you can afford every month to go on with the salary that you're making. Um, I do recommend you keep a little bit of money aside in case of emergencies. But for the most part, um, if you set yourself up a budget, you'll be fine. So there's like the, the typical jet things that people do to save money. They either are paying back student loans. They're saving for some big purchase when they leave. Um, they're traveling and they're using their money to travel, um, or they're d actively doing a degree and using the money to pay for some sort of degree that they're doing. Um, or the just, you know, no budget, do whatever they want, try and figure it out type of person. There, there's, there's all kinds. Um, I started out as a savings person, um, when I was in NARA, because we were trying to save off, like I said, I, Excuse me. Like I said previously, we were trying to pay off student loans. Um, but then when I came here to Kyoto, um, I came with a family. So we were having to use the money to, you know, do things for the kids. Um, we wanted to have them do swim lessons and all kinds of other stuff. So my jet salary was budgeted for my children. I have mentioned previously in other videos that I was doing a degree when I moved here to Kyoto, um, but I was using student loans, which I am now continuously still paying off. Um, so the jet salary after I graduated turned into repayment of student loans again, um, but now it's my regular salary. Um, I don't think I have ever banked or continuously bank any money that I saved during the jet program. Um, now I am, but by function of the fact that I live here. But the jet program salary is enough to choose which things you want to do and then do them. But I don't think it's enough to do some grand thing and also save. So you can do a degree, but I don't know that you're going to have any additional money to save up for anything big. Save up for small things. I mean, save up for in case you need it for an emergency or save up for some trips and things like that. But as for like purchase of a car or purchase of a house or something, you're going to have to save a while if you're doing it on a jet salary. It also, I mean, there are so many factors that the amount of money you have depend on. Um, probably the biggest impact will be how much you pay for your apartment. Um, I have known a few Jets who had free housing, and man, they had always tons of extra cash on them because they were getting paid the same amount as everybody else, but they didn't have a $400, $500 a month payment on a, an apartment. And so they were like, you know, the ones going, hey, I'm going to be in India for a week. See you later. <laughs> we're all like, oh, man. Um, and some people had really expensive places. You know, it, it really, it really depended on, um, you know, the, the situation. Because as you know, every situation is different. So you might luck out 
and get this amazingly huge place, but it might cost, you know, 10 mon a month. But it really depends on how big of a place you need, where you are. If you have a big family and you're in the middle of a rural place, you're not going to have as many social and cultural opportunities as you would in the city, but you're you probably have a giant house with a big yard. Um, but if you're here in like a city, um, you, you just got to luck out really because everything's expensive. Um, the neighborhood I live in is ridiculously expensive and that's one of the reasons I can't move. <laughs> but, you know, it really, it, it I, I can't stress enough that the ESID, the, the every situation is different. Um, so you know what salary you're getting when you get into it. You know that you're going to have expenses. And you just have to kind of see how it settles out after the first two months you're here and just budget from there on out and see what you can do with it. Um, prioritize if you want to get a degree or if you want to save for something. Um write those priorities down so you don't forget them um and hopefully everything will work out and you'll be able to do what you want all right and i'm done with my coffee so it's time to finish um yeah have a great day and uh good luck i think people are, are applying right now or thinking of applying i've gotten a few emails i always get emails from friends whose kids or whose nephews want to live in Japan and they want to ask questions. So I know it's the time when everybody's thinking about doing it. All right. I will see you guys all later. I guess you will see me later or you won't see me later. <laughs> Whatever. Talk to you later. Have a good day. Man. <sighs> My brain is not completely awake in the morning. <laughs> I should probably make these videos. Welcome to morning after coffee in Kyoto, so I could at least think. <laughs>